Over 300 employees from right here in Rutherford County helped to build the Nissan LEAF. Five days a week, 120 vehicles a day are turned out from this factory. So we were importing the vehicle from Japan, a production site, but now that it's being local, uh, locally produced, we can insulate ourselves from any of that exchange rate risk. The locally produced car is starting to take off with back-to-back -back record sales months in March and April. The 1,937 Leafs sold last month is a 420% increase over last year. Now, Nissan listened to their consumers and they've made some changes to the 2013 Leaf. When you look in the back, there's a lot more space, a better Bose sound system. The charger has been moved from the back here to the front of the car. That makes everything a lot easier. You'll see 17 inch alloy wheels on the outside. That's an upgrade. And then you'll really notice upgrades here on the inside. In the 2013, you'll find leather seats, a new, more comfortable headrest, a leather steering wheel that includes heat. Let's take this baby for a ride. It's a very smooth ride. Now with the ride comes arguably the best change consumers will see in this year's model. That's a 15% increase in the range of battery power. What I find interesting about this whole scenario is the fact that people overestimate how much they're driving. So the average American only drives 29 miles a day and right now your Nissan Leaf can easily get you two and a half times that. So once their friends and family and neighbors have one of those and they can experience it and he'll hear from a real person about how great the car is. I think this get, you know, the sky's the limit for sales in the future for electric vehicles. In Smyrna, Don Davenport for Nashville's News 2.